Hello YouTube, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another Free the Peace Friday. And we're going to open in Ultra Red today. You'll probably see a lot of Ultra Red openings on this uh, Free the Peace Friday uh, playlist. Just because I still have a bunch that I haven't opened yet. And uh, what a better time to open them than on this video series. So, here it is, 1972 Dodge Challenger. This is... From Premium 2017 Release 3. Uh, these were limited to 2,500 pieces each. So the Ultra Red is limited to 3% actually of 5,000. Because you could have found this car on the Set A or the Set B card. If you want any explanation about how the Set Ultra Red craziness works. Um, you can go to my Auto World playlist and probably check out any number, any number of the videos that I've put out of complete releases of Auto World. Uh, that I've collected so far. And uh, I think I probably explained it a hundred times there. So anyway, without further ado, we're going to open up this car. But before we do that, uh, we are going to, we need to also open up the regular version A, which is this right here. So this is the version A. And then this is the version B that I've already got open. So um, let's go ahead and let's open version A real quick. And then we'll compare these two cars. Okay. So we got them both out there. And go ahead and open it. Oop, man, we toppled over the packaging there. No big deal. Uh, and let's take a look at the two cars. All right, so they have the same basic uh, graphic design um, on the side. Same like hood, tampo, everything, which is accurate to the 1972 Dodge Challenger. Um, here's a look at the front of the vehicle basically the same let's go ahead and open up the hood now well, the motors look the same now with the exception of course this is painted blue so it's blue on the inside so it's the body colors the inside of the engine compartment um, and then take a look at the back they both look good uh, they actually both have the same license plate for set a and set b uh, they sense in i think in the most recent releases in 2019 um, and maybe some some of the releases before 2019. This one is a 2017 release. Uh, they changed the license plate from set A to set B. So, just a little interesting little factoid there. Um, looks good. Um, I'm looking over at my Auto World wall now. I believe the Ultra Reds in this series. I want to say they technically follow the release B traits. I think that they do because I know that the Cadillac does. I don't have that one yet, uh, but it's coming to me. It's on its way. And when it does, it will complete the series. And you will see actually these cars and this Ultra Red we're about to open. You'll see them again in another video. Uh, so let's just get to it here. Let's go ahead and free the piece. Um, this wonderful looking ultra red right here i actually pulled this thing out of a sealed case that came from autoworldstore.com so that was pretty cool and then the last one i needed to find was this one and i think my buddy jeremy bolter actually found this in the store and i made him pick it up for me because i did not have it i didn't have the regular version so an odd problem to have but here we go <clears throat> all right so in this release 2017 release three the ultra reds were as such now i want to say i believe they followed the attributes of the b series car whether you found them on an a card or a b card now this one you're not going to really be able to tell the difference because the a and the b car the only difference between the two of them was basically as far as i can see as far as i can tell it's just the body color itself nothing else was actually uh, changed um, this one however so it's going to have you know all that same stuff all the same tampos it's got a black interior both these other cars had black interiors uh, this one has a white base an ultra red body and that is it so that's all they did for this one just a white base and an ultra red body uh, we'll go ahead and peek under the hood just in case there's something weird going on there which i don't believe there is and just the ultra red body color inside of there so nothing else but it's a nice look for this car i do enjoy the ultra red 
uh, color on this particular vehicle. There's a little kind of like, I guess you could call it an error where the uh, trim line on the bottom. Actually, no, I guess that is the right height now that I'm looking at these other cars. It's just more noticeable on the red. That is the right height actually for that trim line. And the little trim lines around the fender flares. Little silver paint got away right here. Sometimes that stuff is actually, uh, you can buff it out. Not really buff it out, but just kind of like take a micro microfiber cloth and it'll actually go away. Um, sometimes it won't. It's a little weird dot right here in the rear quarter panel. That's a little interesting. Uh, just on that one side. But all in all, it looks good. I think it's pretty awesome. So that is my free the piece for this Friday. Uh, you should definitely go ahead and participate if you can. If you're a loose car collector, or even if you're not, open up something. Open up something and play with it. You might become a loose car collector. It's kind of how I started, to be honest. Um, it, I was influenced to become a loose collector by a few people. Um, Lamar Fashion, definitely, free the piece. And um, also Travis, Heavy Metal 164, uh, had a little part in that as well. Uh, but really, I can attribute a lot of it to just starting to collect Auto World because Auto World was the first brand of cars that I really started to open up a lot of them. And mainly it was because I wanted to take some really cool pictures of them um, for this Google Plus group that I used to be in called Little Car Collectors before they totally ditched uh, Google Plus. Um, so anyway, long story longer. I started opening a lot of Auto World cars, and then shortly after that, started opening a lot of other stuff. And then once you get going, it's really tough to stop. Once you pop, you can't stop, and you start opening everything. And I'll tell you what, I've never looked back and thought, man, I should have kept all these carded. Everything has been great. Um, loose cars sell, too, if you ever want to get rid of them. They trade, you know, as well. Um, so, I don't know. It just makes me happy to open up these cars. It's a little bit of therapy. All right, so, again, I encourage participation in Free the Peace Friday. Post it to your Instagram, post it to your Facebook, tag me, Champion DJK, same name on all platforms. And ooh, another thing, weird thing I noticed, this thing's got some weird, I don't know if you can see that, some weird scratches on the windshield. That's actually on the inside of the windshield. Yeah, it's definitely on the inside. So that's an odd thing. I don't think I've ever seen that in an auto world car. Not that that really makes so much difference to me. I'm just a completionist. I'm trying to collect all these cars, and uh, so I'm just happy to have it. Pull that out. When I pulled that out of the case, that was pretty cool. But some weird thing going on with the windshield there. Kind of odd, but not a detriment to the coolness of the car. All right, so that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Please check out the playlist. Like I said, please hit me up on Instagram. You can hit me up on Facebook, uh, Champion DJK. Uh, go ahead and post something. Post something to your YouTube if you've got a YouTube channel. Post a free the piece. Feel free to use the hashtag. I'm sure me, I won't mind. And I'm sure Lamar won't mind either. So, all right. Thank you guys very much. You have a good day.